Hello, and welcome to the first newscast of the Historic Coaster Foundation News. We report that Dollywood in Pigeon Force, Tennessee will host a sneak preview day on Friday, March 18th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The new lightning rod coaster is expected to open that day as well. This coaster from Rocky Mountain Construction is new, but it has historical importance for being the first launch wooden coaster. It will also be the world's fastest wooden coaster when it opens. We must remind you that the park will not be open to the public that day. Only season pass holders will be able to get into the park. And in other news, Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana is retracting all three of their wood coasters, the Raven, the Legend, and the Voyage, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary in 2016. Work is being done by Great Coasters International. The Legend, built by Custom Coasters International in 2000, is receiving many improvements to its layout, including a new double dip. Let's take a closer look at what Holiday World plans to do. It's a new year and we've got lots of fun things to talk about. It's our 70th birthday. That's right. Our park was born in 1946, which makes this our 70th birthday. Also, the voyage is 10 years old. Plus, I am officially declaring this the year of the middle child. Since our parents had three children and three wooden coasters, we each have a special love for our sister coaster. My sister coaster is the Raven, Leah's is the Legend, and William's is the Voyage. When you visit this season, you'll notice that all three wooden coasters are better than ever. Especially the middle coaster, my sister coaster, the legend. But first, let's talk about Raven and Voyage. The Raven already received some track work last fall, and the Voyage is getting thicker uplift steel on top of the second and third hills for a smoother ride. Also, we've replaced all eight layers of track for a 300 foot stretch after the triple down. Smooth. All joking aside about the legend being our middle child coaster, our dad loved working on the design for all of our wooden coasters. He called the legend our Y2K coaster back in the planning stages, and he carefully reviewed 200 suggestions from coaster enthusiasts during the design phase. And he was able to incorporate quite a few of the ideas, but he always hoped to go back someday and add a few more dynamic elements to the layout. And that's exactly what we're doing this year. It's really important to us that we keep the classic wooden coaster feel on the legend. We're working with Great Coasters International, GCI, to create a smoother ride experience with even more airtime. We're replacing all eight layers of track on the first drop and are increasing the amount of support structure. And as a tribute to our dad, Will Cook, we're adding a new theme tunnel plus more airtime with a new double down element. James is joining us to show you some before and after graphics. As you saw in our previous video, we asked Santa for a new element on the legend. That new element is going right behind where I'm standing now. As the train exits the helix, it will now enter a double down, creating a beautiful airtime moment as the train races under the lift hill and heads back towards the station. The turn as you head towards Frightful Falls is now lowered. This results in higher speeds and greater excitement. Following this accelerated turn, the train will then enter a new tunnel as it passes underneath Frightful Falls. James said it best, we're adding another beautiful airtime moment to the legend. I can't wait to ride. And happy year of the middle child. That concludes the news for today. Tune in next time. Have a great day, enthusiasts.